Startup BioPhytopharm is developing the first plant-based COVID-19 vaccine using the leaves of this tobacco plant. The startup was founded by Dr. Sutira Techa Kunavut and Dr. Warren Yu Puncharan in 2018. Both are researchers at Chula Long Kong University in Bangkok. Besides the vaccine, the company is using the same plant to develop other medicines, including a booster shot to target new COVID mutations and anti-cancer therapies. I speak to co-founder Dr. Sutira Techa Kunavut about the company's progress on its vaccine trials. Dr. Sutira, thank you so much for talking to me. Your vaccine is generating a lot of buzz in the industry. You think what you're doing at Bayer could actually help put Thailand on the world map when it comes to pharmaceutical science? Oh, yeah. You know, like in Thailand, um, if, we, if you look at the histories, um, we have never, like, I think there's only maybe one drug that we invented from, you know, from scratch. And by doing that, I think it's going to put us on the, at least on the, on the Asia map, uh, you know, in, in the short run. But um, my goal, like, you know, my dream is to be able to put Baya and also Thailand in, in, in the world map in terms of pharmaceutical industry, and we hope. So clearly you want to make a difference. We want to make a difference that now we don't have to rely on, um, you know, importing all the pharmaceutical products. Uh, we want to make a difference that our, you know, researchers, our, um, you know, scientists here in Thailand, if they want to make something different, they don't want, they don't have to do it, you know, aboard, not outside of Thailand, but they can do it here in Thailand, you know, on using our platform and not just by ya, but making a, um, the, the, the industry, the whole uh, landscape of the industry to change from being an importer to become a producer. You've developed the country's first plant-based COVID-19 vaccine. Now I understand you just finished your phase one human trials. What are the findings so far? So um, we're still waiting for the immunogenicity um, responses on all the interventions that we gave to the volunteers. Um, so far, what we know is that uh, you know um, all, all the volunteers are safe, and looking at the safety profile, um, we are very happy with it. But um, our researchers are working on um, you know the the new generation of vaccines that we adjust, you know, we change it, and we um, kind of. Um, make it um, a better version of the first one um, and we hope to get that into clinical trials as well. What sort of efficacy rate are you targeting? Um, it's very, it's just too early to say the efficacy rate um, of our vaccines now, um, but we have the goal. So uh, you know that um, there are standards of, you know, at least uh, where should we be at, you know, of the, all the available vaccines that are available right now, um, you know, all over the world. We're looking at that as our benchmark and we would want at least to be at that level. Um, with and comparing with our side effects, you know, um, adverse events that we are looking at. So we hope that, you know, at least um, efficacy rate would be the same as, you know, what are available out there in the market. So it's still a work in progress, but um, those are the goals and the benchmark that we want to reach. So work in progress, how soon before your vaccine becomes readily available for public vaccination? So we're trying to, you know, like our phase two will start around February and, or March. The phase three, if still applicable to do in naive patients, uh, naive volunteers, meaning that they haven't been vaccinated before, would start around um, June. You know, we're trying to start in June. Um, so we hope that, uh, you know, we have all the data available and to be submit um, to the Thai FDA for, for um, approval uh, of the countries by like, um, the third quarter or the fourth quarter. If you are successful, how big a game changer will it be for the global pharmaceutical industry? I hope that there are a lot of startups like, you know, like Baya all over the world, um, you know, um, trying to produce uh, their own pharmaceutical products for their countries to build their local capacities that they can, you know, research, they can invent new vaccine, they can invent new drugs, you know, that are, you know, that can tackle with their own public health issues. So not just by yeah, but, uh, you know, uh, we see this and we hope that this would be something that, you know, it's, it's a good for, for the people, it's a good for the society that people now have better access to affordable medicines.